Hey there, and welcome to Without Code. My name is Steve Harris, and today we're going to have a look at the new VIP-only wireframe called Blanche. Now, if you're not familiar with a wireframe, basically what it is, is it's the shell of a website. Wireframes have been used in website design for many years to act as blueprints or frameworks representing the layout of a site. These layouts leave out graphics, typographic styling, and other colors in order to be updated quickly and easily. Wireframes are great for designers to be able to provide a quick, functional rough draft to clients, and once finalized, they can quickly be turned into completed websites by replacing images and copy. So our Blanche site here is a very interesting layout. We kind of wanted to push the boundaries of what we could do here and do something that was a little bit out of the ordinary. You'll notice that one of the main focal points of Blanche is this full screen background image. And the way that you can modify that is by going into the Design tab, then Site Background, and this is currently set to the background for all pages, so you'll see it applied here. If we want to change this background on a per page basis, we need to use background per page. In this drop down, you can select which page you want to change the background on, then you can update the image and change the full screen background on a per page basis. Another interesting aspect of this theme is this gradient row. So the way that we've achieved this is first we have our row up top that has our photo and our text in it. And if I carefully move my cursor down, you'll see that another row highlights below that row. This is the row that contains the gradient. And what we've done is we've placed a single column in the row and we've set the background color on that column to be the gradient. If I just click into this row by default, it brings up the spacer design setting. So we have a spacer widget sitting in that row to control the height. If I want to edit the background color of this column, the easiest way to do that is when I carefully mouse over that area, if I control click or right click and I go to select container and I'm going to select the column container that it's in. Now I've got the column selected, we can click edit design and then we have a background color within and that's set to the gradient. So I could change the gradient from there and we're good to go. Blanche also comes with a variety of page layouts. If we click on the navigation menu here, you'll see that we have a ton of different pages, each of them unique. So we can go ahead and work through the site, keeping any pages we want and deleting out any layouts we don't need. In order to replace images, we simply click on an element, click replace, and then we can drop in a new image. In order to edit text styles, of course, we can edit them right on page, or if you want to edit the global styles, just go up to the design tab, go to global text, and in here we can set our global headlines and body text styles. So that's it for our Blanche wireframe overview. I hope you enjoy working with this layout and let us know what you think. Cheers.